Hi, welcome to Help with Christians. I'm Antoinette, and today I wanted to talk to you about a herb that God has been speaking about in prophecy recently. Um, it is called Fumaria, and I have had to do quite a bit of research to figure out what it is, what it's used for, because it hasn't been something to easily find, uh, especially in um, English-speaking areas. So I have done some research. I wanted to bring it to you all, so maybe you can figure out how it can work in your own life and with your own family. So just a little disclaimer, I am not a doctor. Please consult your doctor and anything that you bring into your body or on your body, always have discernment and um, you know have your own health in mind that you advocate for. Umeria is a little tiny, um, some may even call weed. It's a plant that you find randomly growing throughout Europe and Asia. It's only, um, you know, if it's been brought over to the Americas, it may be found here and there, but it's not very common. Um, it has little white or pink flowers with red, dark red, purple ends. So when it blows in the wind, it's a small, a small plant, it blows in the wind, it actually looks like flames. So that's where it got its name, Fumaria. Um, this plant has been around since the Roman times. We have writings about how the Romans used it as a blood cleanser. Um, so, you know, it's been long trusted for many years. Um, and then just recently, God has mentioned it to us to use. And he said you can use fumaria and marigold on the skin. So we'll see as I break this down kind of how the skin issues that we may be seeing or now or even in the future you may even already been experiencing them or we might see them more in the future <clears throat> they directly correlate with these specific body ailments that i'm going to be getting into so um fumaria can be taken internally or externally so um externally if it's made into some sort of salve or um even just, you know, boiled in water and then placed on the skin. It can be used for eczema, psoriasis, or even scabies. Internally, you can use it as a tea or a tincture, and it's good for the liver, the gallbladder, um, the spleen. It's a bitter, so it helps move any obstructions um, and any bile that needs to keep moving, you know, keep everything uh, flowing in your body, any digestion issues. Also in modern herbalism, people will use it for things like IBS um, and any, you know, any kind of blockages that you would find in the liver, the gallbladder, or the spleen. This is a great herb to use for those. Um, you can boil it as a tea with some, um, in one of the herbal books that I was reading, it said honey of roses. So I'm assuming that would be, um, you know, obviously, if you can have honey and you know exactly where you're getting that from, but if you're getting honey and maybe some rose petals, you can throw that in your tea um, to steep together, and then you can put it in your mouth and gargle with it, obviously, once it's cooled a bit, and that would be good for sores in the mouth and the throat. And you would gargle often with it if that was your issue with sores in the mouth or the throat. So I did find a few places online that I feel very comfortable with, that I've ordered from before, um, or the brands that I've used before. Um, one of them is a tincture and one of them is a tea of Fumaria. So if you're interested in getting some of your own, I have no um, connection with these companies at all. I'm not getting uh, any incentive, but these again are things that companies that I've either seen uh, recommended before or I've used personally myself. So. Um, I know it's been hard to, for me to kind of search them down. And when I finally came across them, I was pleased. So just sharing it with you. So that's it. That's all I have for you. I just wanted to kind of give some information about what I found. I hope this is helpful. Again, I think that we are supposed to be using these items that God has been telling us about in our everyday lives. Start weaning off of the Western meds and start using what he has put in nature Obviously, I'm not a doctor. Again, second, another disclosure. Um, but, you know, these are things that God has been telling us to do. So let's all be prudent in what he's been giving us and discerning. And I hope that this helps you. 
please share and like and subscribe and all that thing to help this channel continue to grow. And then we can all be help of Christians together. Thanks. God bless you.